the puff is giving the face. B. subscribe how y'all feeling how y'all doing y'all all right it's january 18th it's a thursday and i'm actually about to be getting ready to go to the gym in a few if you live in the dmv area this whole week snowing blizzard it's getting frozen i go to the gym monday tuesday thursday and saturday i was not able to go on tuesday because it snowed from monday up until tuesday the roads were bad, so I wasn't able to go Tuesday. Today, Thursday, is like day, most important day, so I'm going today. And on tomorrow, Friday, it's supposed to snow again. So yeah, y'all, I'm super, super excited to go to the gym today. I worked out in my gym upstairs on Monday, so this is my first time like really like leaving the house for real. And I look forward to the gym at the end of my work day every time I have to work out. So I'm super, super excited. But as you can tell, it is a new year. 2024 what's it giving y'all i think my word and not to be punny <laughs> but i think my word for the year is leap okay we're talking exponential growth acceleration it is a leap year so yes i got that from being a leap year but also i just really felt that in my spirit that that is the word for this year so i'm super super excited to step into this year i have so many goals i'm going to talk to you guys about that later on probably tomorrow i have so many goals that i've written down and i have a plan i'm going to talk to y'all about that when I get back from the gym, but I just want to come in here and say hi. It's been a great, great day. It's about, let's see how many degrees it is because we need to be cozy, comfy, and warm. It's 37 degrees, and to be honest, y'all, that is warm because it's been 21 for the past, like, three, four, five days. It even got to, like, 12. So I'm going to take this as a win. I'm going to go get ready for the gym, then we're going to come back and chat a little. Hey y'all, it's Friday and it's around like 2 o'clock p.m. I'm about to get ready and go upstairs and finish some work. It's a Friday. It's around that time when I start to hit a plateau. So I wanted to go upstairs in my little, um, what kind of room do they call it? Clubhouse. Yes, in my little like clubhouse area just to get a quick change of scenery and get some final work and projects done and knock some stuff out of the way. I do hope that that'll help me and that it won't be too many people in there so that I will have like a peaceful environment. But y'all, when I said yesterday about the snow and like how it's been snowing all week, y'all, it has been snowing today from 8 a.m. to now. I think it's a little flurries now. Now I have to like really squint to see if it's snowing. But before, like earlier, maybe like two hours ago, y'all, it was coming down snowing. I mean, all the schools were canceled. I mean, that has nothing to do with me, but I did peek to see, you know, cause if they cancel school and we in the DMV area in the Northeast, that means the roads are bad. And y'all, it has been snowing all day. So I think 
that'll also help me, you know, going upstairs to change the scenery because I've kind of just been in the house. Outside of me leaving to go to the gym yesterday, I'll insert some clips here so you guys can see I did record my workout. It was like day. It was a good time. you know I've been on a healthy fitness journey for years and I'm almost to I wouldn't even say my goal weight because I mean it is a number but at this point I'm not even concerned with a number it's just I don't want to say a look that I'm going for but right now I feel great my body looks good she get money her body tea you know that's how I feel for real so yeah let me know if you want me to like put my meal plan or my meal prep of what I've been eating I've been eating this meal plan that I'm on right now for about eight weeks it's a long time I'm ready for something new but I will say I thoroughly enjoyed this meal plan so let me know if you want the tea or what I eat to like bulk and gain and get like an hourglass shape okay but yeah now that we're done with that we're about to go upstairs and finish working I know I promised y'all yesterday that I was gonna come sit down let's go talk about my goals last night i was pooped and too tired from the gym so i'm gonna go upstairs into the clubhouse get some work done probably look at my goals again and then we'll come back and have us a little chat later mm -hmm. my um clubhouse or whatever but what i need to work on and this is what be preventing me from getting vlogs to you guys in a timely manner to begin with and ignore my ambition line that's why i got a little lisp right now but is caring about other people seeing me recording and i purposefully not i didn't come at this time so that people wouldn't be in here but because it was a snow day i figured that i would have you know peace and quiet privacy you know and about Three people have walked in here at separate times, and every time they came, I'm putting the stuff into the purse. <laughs> and to be completely honest, I wasn't even like talking to the camera. I couldn't even care if I was talking to the camera. I was just doing my work and had the camera up. And every time someone came in, all the equipment, everything canceled, cut the cameras, okay? And I need to work on that because if I'm gonna do this vlogging stuff and this content creation stuff i cannot care what people think about me recording or my hobby or what i'm doing or my passion or their opinions of that i cannot because i don't judge how other people get their money and what they do for fun or anything like that so i need to be a little bit more carefree with that y'all i may even because <laughs> i'm sure i got that on camera include a clip of how quickly i shut my camera down when a few people walked in here like too much but anyways i just wanted to share that transparency moment with y'all and just to put it on here so that y'all can hold me accountable and then tell y'all that i'm gonna do better so transparency moment but i think so i about to come here again but i was already about to wrap up but anyways i'm about to wrap up here but just want to share that with you guys but i'll meet y'all upstairs i am back in my house honestly truly like Y'all, this snow is insane. Like, 
I really cannot believe how much it snowed this week alone. But yeah, y'all, I'm back in the house. I'm about to chill for a second because tonight I do want to um, clean my house. At first, I thought I was going to save it for Sunday. But no, I like the idea of my house being clean the whole entire weekend. So then when tomorrow comes, Saturday and Sunday comes, I can just chillax. So that's what I think I'm about to do. I am about to chill for a little second though. I came in the house and I have a few dishes in the sink. I came in the house and I was like, let me wash some dishes. But then I'm like, I'm about to clean my house anyway. So I have been washing clothes all day. So I'm going to fold this load that is already done and put another load in. So by the time I actually start cleaning, all my loads will either be in the dryer, in the washer, so that like won't be in the way and like on the floor. I need to get in the habit of doing it every two weeks, like deep cleaning or just at least doing it once a week so the clean doesn't have to be as deep every time I'm trying to clean. Cause I know when it was that New Year's Eve clean, I really felt like I should have just hired housekeeping because it was team too much. Also, I forgot to tell y'all, let me sit so you guys can can see. I forgot to tell y'all, one of my goals is how everything went upstairs. I did tell y'all, come on camera for a little transparency moment and tell y'all a little bit. But well, one of my goals is to do a better job of leaving the house to go work. Um, I know that I said I was gonna talk to you guys about my goals, but one if of them is to do a better job of leaving the house, whether that's like coffee shops. Let me change this angle, cause it's not. Okay, that's better. So one of my goals is to do a better job of like leaving the house to actually go and like work. I've been working from home since 2019, since before COVID. So I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. And I feel like everyone says it was the same thing, but honestly with COVID, once COVID came, it felt extremely different because you couldn't, I didn't have the yearning or the desire to leave the house and go work somewhere. Um, because I couldn't. And so when I was in 2019, I would do more things. I would leave the house a little bit more to work from home. And I also didn't mind the work from home aspect because I was used to going to the office every day. And now since we've gotten trained into that mindset of everything being from home since COVID, since the pandemic, I kind of want to get back out there and like start doing little things to just brighten my week up a little bit. Aside from the gym, I literally just be at home. I do go into the office for some things, but it's really not mandatory. This is some bubbly, this sparkling water. I'm on a, I'm only drinking water right now. So this has really been helping me to train my mind to think that I'm drinking something other than what I'm really drinking. But anyways, I just want to get into the habit of doing that and, you know, pulling myself together more and actually the experience of leaving the house. Like I'm leaving the house, but not really like I'm going to, to the clubhouse. I can do that. Or I'm leaving the house to go to like a coffee shop, which I'm going to do whenever I'm done with just drinking water. I'll go to the coffee shop, do something for breakfast or something like that. Just to give myself an experience of not making every day feel the same. So even though I was only upstairs for about two hours, I actually was more productive and able to get things done just from changing my scenery, which is so weird. So I really did enjoy that. I am gonna to try to implement that into my routine. That is one of my goals to do it at least once a week to work from my clubhouse or whatever at least once a week or leave the house at least once a week to work i do think trying to ease into the clubhouse thing will probably be like the better thing and then as i get more of into a routine maybe then i'll start wanting to go to a starbucks or a coffee shop or a bakery you know bit by bit little by little you know honestly truly for someone who's a homebody like me I let me take slow. Let me take slow. But anyways, I just wanted to bring that up because I know that I've been talking about goals. I feel like this whole video and have never really told you what my goals are. And I could just really give you a quick synopsis. Y'all already know the content creation. I'm trying to get back on that. I say that every video, but this time I'm really serious. And not just with YouTube, but TikTok as well. Like I'm really trying to work smarter, not harder. Because I've been seeing so many content creators filming a video for YouTube and at the same time they're filming something for TikTok. Literally, I have a phone tripod. I literally, it's as simple as putting my phone tripod up while I have this tripod up. Like, I'm making it harder for myself for thinking that I always have to recreate content. And also, 
anyone that's really consistent with YouTube knows that YouTube is a beast. Like YouTube, you actually have to think about, not saying that any other platforms you don't have to, because you do, you want them to be visually appealing, but YouTube, you have to think about getting like a lot of content and TikTok you'll be able to pull off and finesse certain things, not in the way that you would be able to with YouTube. So I'm really just trying to be more thoughtful and like intentional with how I'm doing content this year because I do really like it. I do like doing it. I thoroughly enjoy it. I just need to be more consistent. So that's like one of my goals. And then also I want to make sure that I'm pulling myself together more. So like leaving the house a little more. That's what goes with the goal that I was just talking about. Also professionally, like guys, I love my job, but you can always be like learning a new skill, pouring into yourself, relationships. I want to pour into my romantic relationship, my relationship with my friends, my sister, all of that, my family, like literally just pouring into those and then pouring into myself as well. Like I want to take myself on a solo date once a month, baby steps. You know, it's not automatically new year, new me, but I do have the plan to really tackle this year. Let me show y'all. Before my camera dies, I'm probably going to show you guys this again tonight because the light is literally flashing at me. <laughs> but I have this goal tracker. And if you guys have heard the 12 week plan on TikTok, I'll try to find the video. The, not 12 week, yeah, the 12 week plan. Basically splitting up your year into quarters. So this is how it is split up so that it's more attainable. And then you can do it by, you take it from the year, so these are my yearly goals. Oh wow. My yearly goals and then it splits into quarterly. So yeah guys, that's how I'm trying to attack my year. I think it would be great if I really follow the plan. It just makes it less overwhelming. My camera's definitely about to die. Wow, why would you do this while I'm literally like spilling the tea to the girls? Hello y'all. Y'all are probably like Wow, this girl has finally pulled herself together because I've been looking a mess all week. But today is Sunday, the Lord's Day. We went to church. Okay, we're feeling good. We're feeling great. I look cute. It's kind of chill what I have on. I have on like this little jacket. I can, I can show you with the mirror. Okay, so I have on this jacket that I got from Nasty Gal. It's actually a gift that I got for Christmas from my parents like two years ago. Yeah, two or three years ago. So I have on this little jacket, super, super cute, and literally just this shirt, some jeans, and my sambas. Y'all, I go to a chill church, so jeans, sambas, all that, totally acceptable. But y'all, I felt super cute today, you know, because I pulled myself together. The puff is giving the face. Bam! So yeah, y'all, that is my church fit. I'm about to chill now, and I put my hair in a little puff y'all i don't know if i told y'all but the last time let me set y'all down so it could be a little bit more steady child okay i don't know if i told y'all but the last time that i um got my hair done i got some long layers and i can kind of notice well not kind of i can already tell in my like puff or whatever that my curls are way more defined i wouldn't say that my hair looks shorter because with long layers, you're not really cutting as much off. You know, shorter, like more defined layers, it's like you can give a bang. I don't have a bang or none of that. It's literally just like some chill, soft layers to give my hair, when it was straight, more definition and more volume because that's what I wanted. So it also helped my curls as well, I feel like. I feel like my hair looks a little bit more shorter and my puff looks a little bit more defined. And y'all, honestly, I didn't do a twist out or like a wash and go. I have been washing my hair and putting it in like two braids for the week. So like today is usually my wash day. So Sunday or sometimes I do Monday. Honestly, tomorrow, guys, I'm probably going to wash my hair because I just, I don't feel like doing it today. Um, <laughs> I kind of just want to chill and I have to go to the store because my trainer is supposed to be giving me I'm looking to see she did not text to me yet she's supposed to be giving me a new meal plan so i already know that i have to clean today and go to the grocery store and then adding on washing my hair would just be a lot but i may do it depending on how i'm feeling right now i don't feel tired but anyways i've just been when i wash my hair i've just been putting it into two plaits like literally i guess french braids down the sides of my hair and i will keep that in from like monday till about Wednesday to Thursday and then when I take it out I could wear it down like I 
that's what I've been wearing it down in this video. That's for me literally just doing those two braids. So it comes out really cute, very defined. If I was to really take my time, it could be even more defined than that. But y'all, that's literally just how I've been trying to like maintain moisture and eliminate frizz throughout the week. When I take it out, I have those curls that I had in my video earlier. And then, you know, these curls right here. So it's giving it's cute and i'm really really pleased with the results and it's the perfect like weekly maintenance i mean i do be looking kind of crazy by the head for like two days but i'm not going nowhere i work from home when i take that out perfectly fine but anyways that is the church fit we are about to put on some more relaxed clothes make some breakfast and then chill until we're cleaning today i will be doing i guess a sunday reset my house needs to be deep cleaned. I know I told y'all I was going to do that on Friday, but then I just ended up chilling the whole entire night, which, I mean, it's totally fine. So I do need to do like a deep reset with my kitchen, everything, just, just do all of that. So hopefully, it doesn't take me as long, so I'm going to do that. And then after that, I'm going to go to the store and I will just chill. I'd rather clean before I go to the store, so then when I get back from the store... I'm just relaxing, okay? So that is the goal for today. But yeah, y'all, let's chill. It's Sunday. It's the Sabbath. Let's rest, okay? I mean, rest for a second because then I have to clean. So let's just get ready for the week. That's what I should have said because that's honestly the truth. Let's prepare for the week, okay? finally finished cleaning this apartment as you can see it's dark so i honestly i've been done cleaning for a little second now let me prop you guys up so yeah i've honestly been done for a little minute now but after i finished it took me about two hours i honestly just plopped on the couch made me some bubbly sparkling water in my favorite little sippy cup and just had me a little rest because I was literally pooped and exhausted. As you can see, I'm in the same clothes that I had on when I was cleaning up. These are some kick around clothes that I be wearing. My mom went through a phrase when she was embroidering everything. So <laughs> this is my embroidered sweatshirt. Me, my mom, and my sister have one alike. And I wear this so that when I'm cleaning up, I'm not worried about like if I get something on it or anything. But yes, I have been chilling but for now i'm about to just stay the rest of the night in i have not gone to the grocery store i don't have my meal plan yet it's all good hopefully i get it by tomorrow fingers crossed so i would just get it then because at this point it's 5 30 i really don't 5 45 5 44 i really don't see me leaving the house at this this late at night i mean if she gets it to me by 6 30 i just might because it really don't take me too long to grocery shop but i really don't see me leaving the house this late so i'll just you know charge to the game and just try again tomorrow i do have some leftover meal prep from my previous um meal plan that i have so i have some stuff that's already cooked so all i really have to do is heat it up so it's really i don't really need it i just wanted to go on a sunday because that's when i prefer to go so i just have everything done but yeah i'll probably just end up heating that up and being done with it. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all good night. I mean, I'm not going to bed right now, but I'm clocking out of this vlog for tonight. I'm about to just chill, watch some of 
the traders have y'all watched that on peacock it's like a murder mystery with reality tv stars and it's actually really really good sheree is on there phaedra's on there a few other housewives but of course i've only mentioned phaedra and sheree because they're the faves but it's actually really really good and phaedra is just being herself which i love so i'm about to chill and watch that wind down and just mentally prepare for the week. I don't have any Sunday scaries. I don't think Sunday scaries is really a positive term. I try to look forward to the week. So I'm really just going to try to do things that make me happy this evening. So that I can have a very happy week. Can we get an amen? Hello, y'all. I don't even want to tell y'all how many days it's been. It's about three or four. Maybe five days. Okay. <laughs> Last week was a week but guys i did not want to end this vlog without closing it out and telling you guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog it was very chill it's giving new year new me but we have some more exciting fun vlogs where we're out doing some stuff and we have some more exciting content coming up for the girls so thank you guys for watching make sure that you like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video bye